What's up, Dick? Rising, this is what we're talking about. This is the star. And this star rises with Ra and the horizon. They rise together. That's called the helical, helical rising. But it only happens every 1,461 years. And it just happened in the year 2012. That's why you heard the world's going to end and all this nonsense. What all it meant was, was the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. So we know we're at... Black, you the play, please. So we know where we are positioned. How you doing, my brother Jeff? Okay. We know where we are positioned on the galactic elliptic plane of our quadrant of the Milky Way galaxy at 10.05 a.m., December 21st, 2012. The sun was right there. So give me the picture, give me the picture with the, 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 other, the other Milky Way galaxy. That one. The top piece is how you look at the Milky Way galaxy from an aerial view. If you look down at the, at the, at the Milky Way galaxy, it looks like a hurricane, okay? When you look at it from the side view, it's nothing but a line with a glow at the top and a glow at the bottom. That line is called the galactic elliptic plane, so that everybody knows what the galactic elliptic plane is. It's a, it's a side view of, of, come on in, take your socks on, meditate, do what you want to do. I know you're trained. I know Nigel got a kid's trained. They were coming here doing some martial arts here. They were coming here. They were coming here. Hey, dude. The temple. The temple. How you doing, my queen, Nigel Ralph? What's My queen mother goddess. And we bow to my queen mother goddess and to all the queen mother goddesses. Because the black woman is a goddess. We are here to protect our black women, our black daughters and children. Must be protected at all costs. And the first cause... The first cause is as soon as you woke up this morning. As soon as you woke up this morning, your children were at risk. You were at risk and didn't even know it. Matter of fact, you was at risk for 3,000 years and still ain't figured it out. You have not figured it out. After 3,000 years, we woke up. And you ask yourself, I ask, the, I ask everybody in the middle of a conversation, in the middle of a lecture, all this all the time. What did you do this morning? What was the first thing that you did this morning? Nobody can even remember what they did. Yeah. Besides your kids. Besides their kid. What you did? There you go. Beautiful. That's why you're that's why you're ahead of everyone else. Exactly. Now, as a people, what we did was when you woke up, first thing you did, you try to remember your name. That's the first thing you do. The Egyptian nightmare is not remembering who the heck you are. You wake up and can't remember your name. Okay, that's the Egyptian. The other Egyptian nightmare is when you have a dream and you're falling. You remember that dream you're falling? Sometimes you have a dream when you're flying. Well, flying is a good dream. Falling is um is one that was like you're going into that black hole. But anyway, that wasn't what I was trying to get at. <laughs> that was just Egyptian analogy or metaphor. What I wanted to say was, what was it that happened to us this morning? What did we do? What we did was, we looked to the left. And we looked to the right, you know what we was looking for? What time it was. We wanted to know what time it was, because we got to go to school. I got to go to the plantation. Master waiting for me, I got to go to the plantation. I got to go to school. You got to find out what time it is. That's where they got you at. You didn't even know it, because they got you on GMT. They got you on UTC. They got you on ZU. Zulu time. ZT is Zulu time. UTC is Universal Time Coordinated. GMT is Greenwich Mean Time. You're on Greenwich Mean Time. Your clock is on Greenwich Mean Time. Greenwich Mean Time means you are on Stonehenge, England, 52 parallels north of the equator. That is zero longitude, zero latitude. Now, who the heck's going to convince me 52 parallels north of the equator is zero longitude and zero latitude? Now they got the Giza Plateau at 3030, where in actual, all actuality, the Giza Plateau is zero, zero. You understand the difference? They took away your centerization point. They took you away from Kemet and put you up in, a, in the icebox in Europe on GMT time. Now they got you controlled. Now, the second thing you did, after you looked at the clock, you know what you did? You looked at the calendar. Holy mac, a double whammy. They got you on this Gregorian calendar. They got you on a lunar cycle calendar that's imprisoned in your mind because the lunar cal cycle calendar can only regulate the seasons. It can tell you how to grow crops. You can feed yourself. 
You can you can regulate denial, inundation, and receding, women's menstrual cycle, and the high tide and low tide. But you cannot reach immortality. We was born for immortality. These children were given at birth from out your womb immortality. It's when it's when they woke up under your supervision of that of that indoctrination of, of what we live into the system is when they became imprisoned. And then you're giving them their food, that food, that food that is not of the seed. That's what we're gonna have to pre mother guys will talk about the diet, the liver. If you're not eating of the seed, rule number one, eat only of the seed. If it doesn't have a seed, don't put it in your mouth. Only thing you put in your mouth that doesn't have a seed is water. Rule number two, don't eat and drink at the same time. Do not mix your solids with your liquids. That's why people get the, why people, you, you, everybody's bloating, everybody's blowing up. Because you're mixing your solids with your liquids. So if you eat, when you eat your solids, you eat the solids and it goes, digests right down into your large intestine. Then when you drink, an hour later, 45 minutes for a novice, an hour later, goes back to the small intestine, you know, urinate, however you're going out your stool, and you feel more, you feel that. Like. But when you eat drink at the same time, you create an acidy brew. And this acidy brew will create the bloating effect. Okay? So now this is what they do to you. Now, rule number three is eat as the table earth prepares the food. From the ground, the vine, or the tree. This isn't this isn't rocket science, it's sacred science. Rule number four. Don't over don't glut yourself. Don't overeat. Do not overeat, meaning don't glut yourself. It's only common sense. Rule number five. Fast occasionally. Certain periods of the year you must fast to detoxify or to purify yourself in accordance to certain illness. Um, and don't forget everybody, there's an envelope at the door for donations. There's a calendar. Everybody should have a calendar right about now. There's all these people coming in. Calendars are at the door. They're $15 a piece. Okay? You must have a calendar if you need to follow these, these lessons. If you're still using the Gregorian calendar, so we're trying to move along, I just need to have everybody have a calendar in their hand so that you can follow these lessons. But it's okay. All right? Now. Wow, we fill it up quick now. We got to put that fan back on now. We good. We still on air condition. We still got. We still got. How am I doing? Am I still video? You still on? Still hey, we still on video. Let's <laughs> come over here. Yes, come on in. All the moot and the tots, all the queen mother goddesses. Yes, I'll swing anywhere you want me to swing. I take this chair out of the way. Hey, I'll swing in. I'll swing out. As long as I got. Hey, as long as I'm in front of the camera. Hey. Hey, yes, yes. Take which one you want. Sorry. How you doing, my brothers? Hotel, Great. Uncle Johnson, them. Hotel. Hey, my brother. Hey, all right, there you go. You said you was coming. And I can. Yes, you she did. Y'all get to squatting. Y'all get into that lotus position. I know you've been working in that martial art. I know y'all been practicing. You know, the cream of the goddess gets the cheers. All the females get the cheers. All the guys stand up. I mean, squat. How you doing, my queen? Godfrey, my brother. Hotel. Uncle Johnson, that my brother. All right. So where we was at was that basically how to tell we tell. We're here to celebrate the Red Pet, which is the Helical Horizon, which is the New Year's. The Red Pet is called the New Year, the ancient comedic New Year. It happens once every 360 days. There's five extra days. And on these days we celebrate the Earth Nectars. Today is the birthday of Heru Earth. Tomorrow, can we have a Earth? Today is the birthday of Heru Ur. Heru Ur is the firstborn of Newt and Seth. During the seven days, nine days in a week. The nine days in a week. You missed that level. We're gonna to get back to you. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a I'm gonna shoot the I'm gonna I'm gonna give a um, a short presentation. No, that's not what I want. I want I want the pictures of the individual gods and goddesses of the five days a week, yes. Uh, There's only so many pictures. I don't have that. I only have this Just one. click, 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 keep clicking. I'll get you now. Keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. there you go. It's coming back. Yeah, coming. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. So, what, you did this one, you went to school. I'm going to keep going. Keep going, go ahead. Get right there, get right there. All right, cool. That's her work, right there. This is the month of Patah, right there. This is Patah. This here is the Pagamore Day. 
That there, the pyramid, the, the, the T and the star is the symbol for Subdet. That means Cyrus. Subdet. Right? And that little, that little quarter face there is Heru, which I put there because I superimposed the Gregorian calendar right on top of our calendar because it's nothing but a plagiarized version of our African calendar anyway. Okay? So now what I so I put that little, little little figure there so that that means every at the end of the year on the Gregorian calendar we had four hours, four hours, hours, four hours, and when they dropped that leap year on us, it's already accounted for. Because that's all they did. So what happens is with the lunar calendar is that every 130 years, one unearned day is added to the calendar, okay? One unearned day every 130 years. They reformed, the first calendar reform is 754 BC, it's called AUC. You guys got your, came, you guys got your equipment out? Y'all be good, I need some Googlers here. I need y'all to bring out your equipment. When I come up with some information that's scholarly for the scholarship, you're supposed to say, hey, maybe this guy. I mean, why, why do you know I'm telling the truth? <laughs> Question everything. Question everything. That's due diligence. Right. Question. First calendar reform. Google it. First calendar reform. And make sure you put A U C. Wait, first calendar what? Reform. Reform. A U C. You got to put A U C, which means ab urbe cortita, or it's not going to come up. You got to feed the machine correct information to get what you want. Took me 40 years. 40 years to figure this out. I'm giving it to you in one day. I can tell you how to tell time. It's very simple. Our ancestors are already constructed it. It ain't, it ain't that what I did. Our ancestors already did it and laid it out there for you. All I'm going to do is help you remember. I'm going to ignite. Huh? September AUC 711. 711 BC? 711 what? 754 B.C., Eratosthenes, Google, Eratosthenes and Aristarchus. In 754 B.C., Eratosthenes and Aristarchus, two Greeks who were part of the plight, who ran a Spalta, Pianchi, Chabaka, and, and, and Pipia, they ran the Nubian kings back up into Nubia, and they took over Egypt from Darius. Are you supposed to say Who? Uh, Eratosthenes, E-R-A-T-H-O, Eratosthenes, S-T-I-N-E-S. Just as soon as you start putting the right word, his name's going to come up. You put in six of them letters, his name is going to come up. Right? It came right up, didn't it? Of course it came up. That's the Greek father of, that's, the, that's their father of, okay? And then put, then put Aristarchus, A-R-I, Aristarchus, S-T-I, Aristarchus. Put that. Then put 754 B.C., and don't forget to put Ab Urbe Gordita. If you see a, black, a policeman's badge, it'll say Boston Gordita. Gordita means city. <coughs> Ab, Urbe, Ab Urbe Gordita means upon the founding of the city of Rome. <coughs> That's the first calendar reform. <coughs> so, first calendar reform. They ran Spalta, Pianchi, Shabaka, Tahaka. You know these guys? They're the Kush King, the Nubian King. You ever been down to the African Museum on Walnut Ave? Nobody's been down there. There is a tomb room there. There is a reconstructed tomb room there that I did 25 years ago. It's the best kept secret in Boston. Inside here, you can find that. You can find immortality inside that room while you're waiting for the star to rise in 360 days. You can hang out there and get immortality. It's written on the wall. Best kept secret. I mean, they don't want you in there. They don't even want you to know it's in there. Google it. Google it. <laughs> yeah, Google. Google it. Museum, Google the tomb room of Spalta. A S P E L T A. S spelled up. <clears throat> Museum of the National Center for American Artists. Be really well known there. I did that 26 years ago. How old are you? Okay. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm saying. This is why we're injured humanity. Okay. Now, what you have to understand is every 130 years, one hundred day, one unearned day is added to the calendar. This means that by the time Julius Caesar came in 46 BC, Google 46 BC, second calendar. Are you Google? Google second calendar reform. You don't even have to put Julius Caesar's name in there. You're going to see the Julian calendar. 
Julius Caesar rolls up on Sasagenes, who is Cleopatra's vizier. He puts a knife to his neck, and you know he he did that thing that they do to men that you're not supposed to do. And he puts a knife. He says, "I am Caesar. I came, I saw, and I what? Okay. okay everybody knows what they do. Yeah. You know what the Romans are coming to do." So he said, "I'm Julius. Put me on the map." So we went from we went from nine days to eight days. We went from ten months to eleven. Julius goes to the Senate. Don't go, eyes of March. Beware the eyes of March. Julius, don't go. They're gonna get you. I'm Julius. I go where I want to go. I'm Caesar. Caesar goes to the Senate. He gets assassinated. Then Tiberius came. Then eventually came Augustus Caesar. Augusta takes over Egypt, he conquers Kemet, which is Egypt, and he rolls up on Sasagenes. He gets a knife in the womb, and he's having a bad, he's having a bad decade, okay? <laughs> Sasagenes having a bad, tough decade here, okay? So now, we went from eight days to seven. We went from 11 months to 12, okay? So we know that there was nine days in a week. The Kemetic Council tells me, oh no, Fatah's calendar is phony. It's fraudulent. Egyptians didn't have ten days in a, I mean, not nine days in a week. They had ten. So if you got ten days in a week, three weeks in a month, adding to thirty days in a month, what kind of calendar is that? Lunar. What kind of calendar is that? Lunar. It's a lunar calendar. In other words, it's a Roman and Greek calendar. <clears throat> in other words, that calendar was implemented by Ptolemy the first Soter. Serapis, Septempera, Mary Amen. What is it? What am I saying? Google it. Google it. Oh, sorry. This is Google it. I was into it. Okay. You got to Google it. Ptolemies. The first. Soter. S O T E R. Soter. Serapis. S E R A P I S. Septempera, Mary Amen. Don't worry, as soon as you get to Ptolemy the first Sotir, all that's going to come up. Oh, did it jump? Press images. Press images. Jesus! Oh! 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 Now go to Ptolemy. Go to Ptolemy the eighth. Ptol there he is. Ptolemy the eighth. Sotir, Serapis, Septempera, Christius. 125 B.C. Jesus Christ is not supposed to exist until zero on the chronological timeline. Here it is, the Christian religion existing 125 years. Christ is 125 years before he's registered on the chronological timeline because A.D., I know the many, right? Yeah. And the year of our Lord, right? Is zero, right? Yeah. Well, what the hell is he doing for 325 years? 125 years before that. Okay, the guy never existed. He never existed. Christ existed. There was a Christ. The Jane wasn't Jesus though. There was a Christ because every 2,100, put the put this picture with the zodiac, with the, with the zodiac with the spiritual design on it. Every every 2,130 years, our son, our son passes through each great age. There's 26,000 years. Two times 12 is 24. 100 is 25. There's so many odd years comes up to 26,000 years. Okay. Every great age is a deliverer. There's a Naga, a Shemsuaru, who brings forth the enlightenment. He's called the enlightened one. We are Nagas. We are Nesupitis. But there are two classes of Nagas. Yo, where's my, where's, can you fix my string on my thing like this, sir? I need, I need my, the string. Hello? Yes, you, sir. <laughs> you spend, don't space it. Come on, you're okay. I know, I know. It's okay. You're into this. You're into, I just need you to take five seconds out to put the string. You get the string on you now? No, but I can cut Yeah, just cut one. Take one off. Put one on. I need five seconds. I need that to be done. Okay? Now, this is my new apprentice here. This brother here, he, he does all the jewelry. He does all the jewelry. He does all the arms. He's good brother makes my arms. He metal urgy. He does everything. Okay? This is my brother here. This is Oski Piaski Sony. This is my video photographer. He does PowerPoint. He does digital graphics. If you need anything work done, this is how we work together. But now, bing, 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 bing. Ptolemy the first, so tear. The eighth. The eighth. 
His name is what? Christus, right? Okay. Now, what I'm trying to get at is now, here we go, they're plagiarizing our, our time and your spirituality. When you woke up this morning, you know you said, oh, Jesus, help me, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I love you, Jesus. You know you got the word of the Bible. You know you love the word of God. It's a lie. Every last word in that book is a lie. The guy never even existed. Now, Google. 325 A.D. Council of Nicaea. Let's keep it rolling because these are calendar reforms. At the same time we're Googling our spirituality, I was being butchered. They also, each time, they have to adjust the calendar because the, so, the spring solstice isn't lining up because it's under a lunar cycle. And if it's under a lunar cycle, every 130 years, one unearned day is added to the calendar. They can't get around it, but what happens is, what happens is, in 130 years, you're not going to make 130 years. I'm not saying personally, I'm just, and maybe your kid together might not make 130 years, so you're not going to recognize it. Right? You're not going to recognize it. Right? Because, because you're in prison. You're being subjugated. You know where you're at? You got your neck, your neck is under my foot right now. Right? And I'm castrating you. I'm burning you. I'm, I'm killing you. I'm crucifying you. To crucify me is to inflict the most excruciating pain. I'm crucifying pain on you all day long. It's called injured humanity. Can I, get the, can I get the one with the Zodiac and everything? Zodiac? Yes. I'll continue in front of the camera. That's my Uncle Jehuti here. This is the man that took me off the street when I was six years old, seven years old. Somebody, had a guy had a knife up in my neck. He jumped off the car, beats him up, and that's takes me down to my brother's dojo where I should have been from the beginning. <laughs> where I should have been. He's, he's riding by and somebody's got a knife up to my neck. He's on this one? No, 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 sir. The one with the spherical, the spherical diagram that has the zodiac going around it. The legend, the legend picture. It's got the circle with the zodiac. It's this picture here. Oh yes. Uh, I need this picture here. The top. I have a question. Sure. So the calendar system that you're talking about, how does that line up with the Ethiopian calendar? Ethiopian calendar. Uh, today? Yeah. Or the primordial Ethiopian calendar? Uh, primordial. The Ethiopian calendar today is a lunar cycle calendar. Every calendar in the world today is a lunar cycle calendar because everybody is in league with imprisoning you because once they release you from your imprisonment and your subjugation, you become a naga. You become a shenzu ru. You know what a naga means? A naga. It means you're an immortal one. It means you're immortal. It means you are the enlightened one. That means you bring enlightenment to everyone all over the world. Our symbol is the cobra, the snake, it's the sun, the moon, the star. All over the world, any megalithic monument that you see, you will see these symbols. And these symbols are the symbols that represent us as, as the immortal ones, the Nagas. So what they did was, they used etymology, which is the study of language. And they switched the vowels. So they went from being a Naga to a nigger. So if a Naga means the enlightened one, what does a nigger mean? It means the lowest. A nigger is a, pe a race of people that never even existed. They have no tribe, they have nothing. They are what they call derelicts. That guy called me a derelict one day. I said, oh man, I'm a derelict? <laughs> <laughs> derelict. I gotta go look at it. But after that day, I look up everything. I ain't doing, doing 12 cents. A derelict is the lowest of the low. You're so low that you can't even put a paper up on the snake's body. You're lower than the bottom of a snake's body. You're the lowest of your race. You're a derelict. That's what the word nigger means. Which does it doesn't mean nothing. Because the people never even existed. So this is what they did. But that's why they imprisoned us and they and we suffered all these years. That's why your grandmother and your great grandmother and your great 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 grandmother was hung. And they and they took all that abuse. They took all that raping. They took all that to get us where we're here today. So that at 2000, here it is here, at 2000, here, at 2012, 2012, we reached the galactic lithic plane of our quadrant the Milky Way galaxy. Show me that picture of the galactic. This is the, this is, this here, this here is the calendar itself and how it moves through, how it moves through 
the zodiac, the 12 signs, is called the phenomenon of precession. Okay, here's right there. That's it right there. This is the galactic elliptic line of our quadrant Milky Way galaxy. It's December 12, December 21st, 2012, at 10:05. This is where our sun is at. We know this. Give me the pyramid picture with the two things shooting up. We know this. It's telling time. When you leave out here, you're going to know how to tell time. 24 hours in a day, the Earth spins, it rotates. Right? It revolves. Here we go here. It revolves on its axis. Right? It's revolving, it's rotating, and it's revolving around the sun. Right? And in between that, there's a wobble. You know the Earth has the wobble? That wobble, one wobble, is 26,000 years. It takes 26,000 years for one wobble. This wobble is aligned with this star. Through the shaft, the star shaft of the Great Pyramid, through the northern star shaft, it points to, it's pointing to Polaris right now. Then it, so it's, it's Polaris, it goes in a circle. So it's 6,000, 6,000, no, it's 13,000 for halfway, 13,000 for the other half. It's split into four divisions. And this is how we know where we're at on the galactic elliptic plane. That's how we register where we are on the galactic elliptic plane of our quantum Milky Way galaxy, meaning you know what age we're in. What age are we in now? Aquarius. We just left the age of Pisces. But we're talking Greek here. Right? Pisces is no longer Pisces. Give me that picture with the spherical diagram. This is called not the chronological timeline. We have a Nataru logical timeline. Nataru, the Natas are the gods and goddesses of nature. They are the cosmic forces that allow you love, guidance, and protection through the daily experience of ponderable matter. Everybody get that? Cosmic forces. The cosmic forces that they, the cosmic forces, scientific interpretation of the gods and goddesses. You don't believe in the gods and goddesses? You don't believe in that one God that doesn't even exist? He doesn't exist. He's my Uncle Set. We celebrate him on the third day. Matter of fact, that's the day. Tomorrow's our son. We celebrate that God the third day. His name is Uncle Set. He's our uncle. He used to be on the boat for a million years. Now, you ever see that movie? That movie they got off the guys of Egypt? Yeah. Here's the this is what they're showing you was the Shemsu whores and the Shemsu sets. And they showed you a puppet of what Raz do, Raz doing up there. The Greeks just took it, switched it around, Hellenisticized, Hellenisticized it, and then, and then put the Sethian effect on it. But it's the same story. That's why black people don't make black movies about things of this sort because they don't know the concept of self-creation. All they know is academia. All you know is what your slave master taught you. I'm here to teach you the concept of self-creation. So once I get you from learning how to tell time, I can give you, I can give you the star gospel of the self-creation of Ra Neveteshi Ra because you're an African.